Well, recent updates have led to confusion among healthcare providers and patients alike about the use of aspirin for preventing cardiovascular complications. Here to tell us more about this and understand what we need to know when it comes to the safety and effectiveness of aspirin is Dr. Nisa Goldberg. All right, Nisa, let's start with the basics for those who may not know why aspirin is used or how it's used and how it helps. How does it help uh, heart conditions? Aspirin reduces the risk for blood clots that cause heart attacks and the majority of strokes in our country. And one in three, and, and its most important use is for people who already have had a heart attack and stroke. Because we know that one in three people will have a second heart attack and one in four people will have a, another stroke. Aspirin reduces that risk by 31, a heart attack risk by 31 percent and stroke risk by 22 percent. And so it's very effective in people who already have existing heart disease. The new guidelines were very confusing because they didn't change anything about what we call secondary prevention, those people who have already had a heart attack and stroke. The new guidelines address people who were healthy and didn't have a first heart attack or stroke. And really what the new guides, guidelines recommended is for people between the ages of 40 and 70 to have a discussion with their doctor if aspirin is right with, for them. Because we know that people who are healthy, some are at higher risk for heart attack and stroke than others. So I, th I think you hit on it there. That's the important part is uh, the people who've already had maybe a heart attack or stroke, um, the numbers, the numbers are, are show that this, this can help. And, and it's really the people that you don't want to have them taking this without talking to a doctor, correct? That's right. If you haven't had a heart attack or stroke or your doctor hasn't prescribed it, just because your friend is taking it or you read something about aspirin, it's best to talk to your doctor before taking it on your own. Uh, some of those uh, the side effects they talk about that they're concerned about is the bleeding because it, it thins your, your blood and then if you, have, uh, if you get a cut or something, it can cause extra bleeding, right? Well, the risk of having serious bleeding, meaning that you need a blood transfusion, is less than 1%. Oftentimes, my patients see that they have some bruising, and that's not serious. So what we really want people to do is, if you think you're having a side effect to aspirin or any of your medications, before you stop it, you should talk to your doctor. Absolutely. That's the important part, folks. No matter what you're taking out there, talk to your doctors, consult with them, and give them the advice, because they, uh, they're there to help you, right? That's right. We're, we're always here to help our patients. And you know, with the new electronic health records, you may not have to give them a call. You could just send them a question. Doctor, should I continue taking my aspirin? Doctor, do I need an aspirin? Great point. Appreciate you joining us. And we're going to share this on our website a little bit later so that people can catch it one more time. Just go to firstcoastliving.net.